is like a family, and really what goes on is trying to develop a new generation One of, our of young artists. Our goals is to get inside of that framework for students and help to pull out the the person who they are, the artist who they are. At the, the court game, you'll see someone else. sculptures, video projects, sound works, highly political works, highly personal works. If we can give them the flexibility and the space to uh, let their personalities and passions come out. Of, uh, developing a new way to see the world. And, you know, he had this ongoing debate about was photography art or was it science? Moybridge's time, photography was beginning to be accepted as art. And Moybridge, he really thought of himself uh, as an artist. Painting all of these buffalo and painting them in a very romantic fashion. Going all the way back to the horizon of the painting because we have that one, that central group of the Native American, the horse and the buffalo. I love this painting because it represents so many things in the art world. Jean Davis, who's the artist, was an, a faculty member here at the Corcoran. And that connects to me the larger art world and the history and culture in which that took place with our students today in a very contemporary sense. I'm standing in front of my senior thesis exhibition. My project and thesis was Dream. You know, my piece is Carousel. My senior thesis is called Hold On to 333 and Don't Let Go of 444. A brief reminder of our briefer encounter. Weaving a New Beginning is about two Zambian widows. Love at a distance. The students, they amaze me constantly with their, um, their insight and their ways of approaching subjects that nobody else would ever really think of. And it's eye-opening. Sometimes it's outlandish. Kong, Kong, Kong. It usually is penetrating in a way that it gets into these spaces that otherwise we just really can't get to. King Kong started as a racially charged character in the original 30s movie where he was a symbol of the black man. In my project, I'm talking about the evolution from the monster to the more politically correct version of Kong that we see today. She's really struggling. She really is good enough. I'm really responding to, to your own sense of who this student is, you know. She's so passionate about that piece, and it's just we got to help her put it together and craft well, it. Well. Fue mejor. That's my grandmother, my mother, and my great-great-grandmother. Really, you know, give some meat and content to her presentation. It's a very strange concept to love someone that only exists at a distance. It's really a beautiful piece that she's proposing. Students from the very beginning are encouraged, if not ordered, to begin to develop a sense of their own vision. I had to unveil myself and show the issues that every woman goes through. Puberty, uh, when you, your first sexual experience, um, I wanted to focus on those things and bring light to them. Her pictures just took on a life of their own, amazingly beautiful to look at, very emotionally compelling to try to uh, confront. I finally was able to express issues that I felt very, very connected to. It felt good. We send students up here all the time to look at uh, certain paintings and pieces of sculpture to understand what they're working with and to create this dialogue across time with painters, sculptors, artists from other generations. And that's one of the amazing things about being here is that you can have that kind of a dialogue regardless of your age or, or where you are that you have this experience here in an incredible major international museum. This Bierstadt painting has moved me to make a piece of my own. I'm going to take the Native American off of his horse and replace his horse with the Colt 45 horse, the beer. They don't find themselves these days to just be painters or just be political activists. They really bridge a gigantic so gap. So the horse is going to be kicking them right in the face. Between the poetry, their concerns about the world, their lives and their families. and It's the way these projects change and diverge from each other that embody that wide range of interests and thoughts. I want to do this because of the alcohol abuse that suffered on some of the uh, Native American reservations. To be trading ideas as poets and, and, and activists out in the world, that conversation becomes complete and very profound. Tim Hetherington was killed in a firefight in Libya on April 20th, 2011.
Bertinsky takes us to places we've never seen, places perhaps we were never meant to see, and he shows us a world that has incredible importance in our lives. Scenes of the destruction and the consequences that lie at the end of oil, both beautiful and strangely unnerving. My senior thesis deals with issues like insecurity or feelings of revulsion relating to the body. You might have an idea that's socially unacceptable. You know, am I going to put myself out there and expose myself in this way? The work depicts women engaged in um, actions of hygiene, but things that they're also extremely private and intimate to most women. So Elliot, I'm interested in the fabrication of, of these pieces you're talking about. The palm tree kind of reflects like the simple construction around ideas of uh, like tropical paradises. Are you trying to like evoke something that's universal or familiar with these symbols? Um, be like the diver from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> when you critique, you're talking about what questions the work makes you ask and what kinds of decisions the artist has made and whether it, those decisions impede or enhance your ability to plug into the communication that they're trying to this bring about. This is the residue of what my performance was where I... In the very beginning, we asked the students to stretch beyond where they already are in every way. So, Eleanor, did you consider at all the tension that you create by the visuals by the using the, the pulley ropes. system i'm also able to kind of create a humor between raising these signs as if i'm raising a sail on a boat or raising a flag you're not um, working in a vacuum here you're working as part of a professional in a large professional network what did your parents think of the piece my mom finally turned to me and said you know like you're not making fun of me right <laughs> she's like no no it's just something you said and she's like i like it i like it a lot our students are constantly challenging each other, they're challenging me, we're learning from each other. They educate us, it's one of the most rewarding things about being a teacher. Those students know much more about their culture than we ever will. I was interested in the role that technology plays in communication and our relationship to that technology. I divided a color scale of 365 by 43 and divided a grave scale of 255 by 27. It's that challenge for me to keep up with them that keeps my art dynamic and uh, keeps this process incredibly enjoyable. Every dream we dream is really a story. And that really goes along with my thesis. For as long as I've known Moody, he wanted to draw on his photographs, and he wanted to know if that was OK, because he was in a photography program. And I said, of course it's OK. You're really good at it. The dream is a story about a young boy he ends up dreaming his consciousness as this fearful being that nearly threatens his life. That intimacy, that passion that exists at that moment is really revealed in the work. Dream, it became really a healing place. Dream is, is about me, yeah. This is a new time and a new day. And we want our students to think creatively and to, and to think actively. They're so open and questioning. Photography was so new when we were in When this educational process is working at its best, uh, by the time four years of a degree are over. But this being in the middle of the floor and people were walking on your I was upset. I was crying. I know you were. With any luck, the distance between uh, professor and student, professional and novice, has really closed completely. The marriage between Eastern and Western art styles is historically very interesting. Stone or wood or photography, that's all just the means you go about to create It's art. a really unbelievable, unique, and amazing story that doesn't happen anywhere else but here at the Corcoran. We really want the poetry to come from a place of personal identity, of biography. I was doing a story about myself. Culture, where they grew up, who they think they are. How others perceive you reflects back onto yourself. If we can tease that out of them over the years, uh, we think they'll be better artists. We think they'll have more to say about the times they live in. Twitter feeds or trending YouTube videos. The stereotypes videos. of the black man. that I like, like a bruise. And hopefully black more different. to contribute to the world. Ideally, it is yeah, supposed to be like a criminal really like explosive I believe it's going to be a powerful image. I believe it's going to say what I want it to say.